Hey everyone, Damon here with a quick and to the point tutorial on how to get Star Citizen sort of working in VR. I want to start this off by saying this requires a piece of paid software called Vorpex. This can work with another piece of software called Virtual Desktop, but it will not be in 3D like it will be with Vorpex. Start off by making sure you have Vorpex and Star Citizen installed. I'll warn you, if you struggle to maintain decent frame rates in Star Citizen out of VR, you'll have a real bad time inside VR. There are some workarounds, such as dropping the resolution of your game to 720p, but that comes with obvious flaws given you'll be staring at a low resolution image with high resolution goggles. Once both are installed, head over to Google or down to the description, past links to my Twitter and Twitch accounts, and find OpenTrack. If you're going the Google route, make sure you're finding it through GitHub. OpenTrack takes the positional data of your headset and uses it to spoof stuff like track IR data, something Star Citizen is compatible with. Once OpenTrack is installed, open it up and make sure input is set to SteamVR for Vive, Index, Pimax, and WMR users, or Oculus Rift Runtime for people like me who are using an Oculus Quest with Link Cable. If you're using an Oculus Quest with virtual desktop wireless support, you'll want SteamVR. Output will be set to FreeTrack 2.0 Enhanced, and the filter should be Excella. Now it's time to open up Star Citizen. Before you open up Star Citizen, make sure Vorpex is closed. We aren't setting up Vorpex quite yet. Once Star Citizen is properly launched, make sure to attend to your settings. In game settings, go to the bottom of the menu and disable anything related to head movement. In 3.12, these settings are G-Force induced head movement and global camera shake. Set these to zero. Then scroll up to find Look Ahead Enabled and Enable Auto Zoom on Locked Target and set them both to No respectively. Continuing up, find Flight Proximity Assist Default On and set that to No. This isn't necessary for VR, but will save you lots of grief taking off in larger ships. The last setting in the Game Settings menu you should disable is Show Hints, as they are mostly irritating from my experience. Under Graphics, things like Motion Blur, Film Grain, and V-Sync should all be turned off. Now, navigate to Comms, FOIP, and Head Tracking. Find Head Tracking, General, Source, and set it to Track IR. This will let us use OpenTrack in our VR headsets to control where our player looks, independent of mouse controls. Next, set Toggle Enabled to Yes, Disable During FPS and Disable During ADS to No, Enable Role in FPS to Yes, and then Close Down Star Citizen. Now, open up Vorpex. Upon launch, it doesn't usually show much outside of an icon in your bottom right icon tray, but on first setup may ask you for some basic information. Make sure your headset is connected and any software required is running, that being Oculus or SteamVR, and put your headset on. Next, make sure OpenTrack is open. With your headset in a neutral position, ideally the position straight forward in your play area, click Start on OpenTrack. Once you've clicked Start, you can move your headset around, and if you're concerned about it not getting your neutral position the first time, you can set a key binding in the Options menu to reset your center position. Open up Star Citizen again. This time you should see it launch in your headset as well. If you're using an Oculus Link setup, it may open OpenTrack in your headset, but Star Citizen should take possession once it's launched. If it doesn't, press Start on OpenTrack immediately after launching the game through the RSI launcher. Make sure to click Start on OpenTrack before the game launches in full, as Vorpex doesn't like alt-tabbing and will stop working. You may get a warning about VSync being forced through NVIDIA settings at this time. If so, please change your settings accordingly in your NVIDIA control panel under Manage 3D Settings. I, however, don't own an AMD system, so I can't help you there. In Manage 3D Settings, in my case, I simply disabled VSync being on in the global settings, but this may cause issues for me later on in life. A more thorough user may hunt down Vorpex's driver using the Add button under Program Settings in the same menu. Once everything is running and you have your headset on, press the Delete key to open up the Vorpex menu inside of your headset. In VR mode, I set my headset to pixel 1 to 1 with a zoom of 0.5. I set the geometric 3D reconstruction to 0.35 and head tracking strength to 0. The head tracking in Vorpex controls the mouse, but as we have OpenTrack set up, we don't need it to do this, and our mouse will instead control the torso like smooth turning in VR games. From this point on, you're ready to play Star Citizen in VR. With OpenTrack spoofing track IR and Vorpex building 3D for you, a reality of Star Citizen VR while limited is tangible. If the head tracking isn't working to your liking, there are plenty of options as far as tailoring open track and the head tracking menu to your liking to make it work better in your case. The recent changes to the head tracking system in 3.12 really increases the VR fidelity capabilities of the game and make me excited for a future where this is the norm for Star Citizen. Alright, video's over. Thanks for getting me to 100 subscribers. That was really unexpected and very pleasant to come back to. I didn't expect that video to do anything and now I have a, I have a video with 11k views and that's flabbergasting. Uh, so I'm going to keep making videos and uh, I hope your day doesn't suck.